welcome to the channel. It's always good to be here. I'm glad you're here with me. So today, we're going to talk about Coach Prime, his dedication to the Colorado program, his love for football, and its effect on his personal life and his relationship with Tracy Edmonds. In the meantime, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We'd love to have you join us. Just no cursing. So, back to the Tracy Edmonds and Coach Prime scenario. This is not hard to figure out. If you're an adult, then I mean a real adult, not just, well, I'm 20, you know. No, if you're a real adult and you've been through life and you've been through relationships, you see exactly what this is. Coach Prime has said it a million times. Football is his life. He is in love with it. He wouldn't even take Valentine's off to go see this woman and take her out and have a great time with her for Valentine's Day. You saw the video. He had her fly all the way to Colorado, all partied up in a beautiful dress and all this everything, to sit her in the school cafeteria and feed her a meal and have the school chef play a saxophone. That was his romantic gesture to a woman like that. High power. Classy. A California, like, socialite, you know, Hollywood type thing. That don't fly. I mean, I'm old as dirt. And I, I know sometimes you got to put on some clothes and take a chick out and buy her flowers and give her roses and, and get candy and say all the nice things and tell her how beautiful she is and you got to do it all spectacularly or their feelings get hurt. And if you notice, Coach Prime dropped the ball right there. But that's not what really happens here. See, when you're an adult, you got eyes, you know what's happening. Females send signals. What happened? She has not been back to that program since. Not once. Message. Two. She took a job that requires her to be away in California, which she's comfortable, not Colorado, where Coach Prime bought his new house. And setting up shop to be permanent in Colorado. Mm -mm. She took a job back in California on TV at night on some entertainment show. I'm not going there. Not if that's how it's going to be. Cold. My Valentine's going to take place in the school cafeteria. That's strike two. But the main thing was strike three. And here it is. You know it like I know it. And anybody else with their eyes open could see this. She took a job as a co-host, sitting next to Mario Lopez. Dancing with the stars and as host for the syndicated entertainment news magazine show Extra. Although Mario has starred in many films and TV shows, many people may be aware or unaware of his dating history. Without a further ado, here's the scope on who all have shared the love with the handsome and charismatic TV star. Fergie 1984 Former Black Eyed Peas band member Fergie and Mario briefly dated each other while co-starring together as kids on the 80s show, Kids Incorporated. Ali Landry 1997-2004 Mario and Ali met when he was a presenter at the 1998 Miss Teen USA pageant. Ali was a commentator. The pair dated for six years before marrying in April 2004. Two weeks later, Ali had the marriage annulled after finding out that Mario cheated on her and had a threesome at his bachelor part arena Smirnoff 2006-2008. While being one of the celebrity participants in season 3's Dancing with the Stars, Mario began dating dancer Karina Smirnoff. After dating for a year and a half, the two broke up in June of 2008. Okay, so it's millions of you out there who don't get it. Okay, so I'm going to give it to you. Mario Lopez is a Hollywood stud. That's how he got there, and that's what he does. He plows for a living. Look at his track record. His first so-called fiancé wife 
They were only married for 14 days. I don't love you. Because he was plowing. Fergie. Plowing her. I mean, just look at the list. Just plowing, plowing, plowing. He has a reputation all over Hollywood. And it's real simple. Your man not acting up or acting up, not acting right, whatever. Here's Mario's number. Call him. He'll blow you back out. Just like Nick Cannon doing with all those sisters. Same thing. Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, you name it. They call. Here he comes. He's the, he's the guy that's the plow. And that's what Mario Lopez or is on the flip side. He's the Latin lover with the cute dimples. He can dance any dance that you can do. Mario can do it. But yet he's having Modelo's with barbecue with his boys. Yet he's the pretty guy on TV that all the women swoon after. Like he has got every base covered. I'm the dancer. I'm the lover. I'm the guy that's local with a Modelo and some barbecue. He's everything. And he's quiet. I'll blow you out and nobody's going to talk about it. She sat there in a horrible relationship. And she looked over and said, hmm, he is charming. He is this. He is that. And they telling me he's going to keep it quiet. And there you go. They got into it. All of a sudden, me and Dion done. That's what happened to Tracy Edmonds and Coach Prime. You don't have to guess and speculate and, and, and come up with all these fancy theories and stories. The writing is right there on the wall. All you got to do is follow it. That's how life is. And you understand that if you're an adult. If you're not, you can say whatever you want to say and you can think whatever you want to think, but that's what happens. She ran, took a job, sat next to a player, was smooth. Her ex-husband was a player. The guy before him was a player. She's used to players. Yes, do your homework. She's used to being around players. And he hit it. And he actually hit it pretty good because then she broke off the relationship. Okay, I've had enough of that guy nonsense, you know. But that's just what it is. Everybody's talking about it, so I didn't hear nobody with any real perspective come at you other than this woo-hoo fluff stuff. They don't want to tell you the real deal. And there it is. Holler at you later.